Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Little Busters. I'm here again with my roomie! Me! Hi. Wow. No! My goodness. Fuck are you! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's jump back in. So last episode, we had that newspaper sword fight <laughs> with all the girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <clears throat> uh... Me, something like three times. Thirteen times. Seven times. Nine times. I lost a little cood. Rincoon and Onesan. Zero times we tied for first. She looked pleased. And Kamari Chen? 137 times? She had really got slashed too much. So that makes uh, Kamari Chan the Kamari. last. Uh, Kamari Chan the last place. Poor soul, everyone, let's help her out. Aww. Haru Chan, thank you. Well, it was. Haruka. Haruka Kun. Kun. <laughs> duty to begin with. You gotta be louder, by the way. Well, I'm trying! Jeez! <laughs> <sighs> I guess I'll scoot closer to you. <clears throat> oh my. Eh? Ah ha ha ha. Don't sweat the small stuff. Thus, after rounding up the game, we brought, er, we brought the load of newspapers to the recycle area. If Masato and Kengo were here, it would have turned into something even more amazing. That's what I thought. After homeroom, school was over. You're heading to a club like always? He asked Kengo, who stood up without even turning in his direction. Of course. You have time for some girl, but none for us. What are you talking about? Weren't you drinking tea with some girl on a bench behind the school cafeteria? Everyone in the classroom was busy getting ready to go home, but after Masato spoke, it suddenly became quiet. I wanted to lift up the bench from behind and let you know. Let you into? Oh, let you into free falls, but since you were... Oh, since there were two of you, I couldn't. Don't do that, even if I'm alone. I wanted to see your happy face go, whoa, awesome. That's dangerous, you know. Masato was dense, so he didn't notice, but it'd become a real scoop already. The whole classroom was buzzing with whispers. They were all speculating who the girl might be. Of all of us, Kengo was the most popular with the opposite sex, but perhaps being unaware of it himself, he tended to keep his distance from girls. I'd actually never heard about him being alone with any girl other than Rin. Behind the school cafeteria was a table and a bench prepared for those wanting to eat outside, but it had got uh, rusty after co or constant exposure to rain, so nobody took much interest in it. To be alone with a girl in such a place... It must have been a date. Wouldn't you be fine even falling from the rooftop? You should taste the thrill of free fall. Don't be unreasonable. I could sense everyone's growing impatience in my skin. Why isn't Masato talking about the girl and who she was? They're totally going out, we heard the girls grumble in vexation. Eh? That was your girlfriend? No. It's not what you guys seem to be thinking. She's Koshiki, the ar or from the archery club. The instant everyone heard the name, the classroom fell into silence. Everyone knew the name, and furthermore, everyone was aware of her situation, so nobody attempted to pry further. Nor did Kengo say anything more. Without saying a word, he picked up his bag and left the classroom. Not long after that, Rin dashed over. Well, was she his girlfriend? Uh, no. 
I answered in sheer amazement, but then I remembered how small her circle of friends was. Koshiki Miyuki, from the Archery Club, often described as a beautiful prodigy. The image of her was clearly etched into my mind. A beautiful face, and covering part of it, a symbol of tragedy. Have you seen the girl who always wears, or who always wears an eye patch? She shook her head, and the bell in her hair chimed twice. She's lost vision in one of her eyes. She isn't injured or anything, but she doesn't remove it, even now. She listened to me silently. She's the daughter to a family well-known for its skill in archery, so there were high expectations for her, but tragically, an unfortunate illness in a similar position related to martial arts and high expectations, Kengo is the closest to her. That's why I think they've got a lot of things to talk about. She finally understood. He's not very sociable, but he's a good person. He's reliable, too. Yes, but I'm starting to think, or starting to feel embarrassed about what we're up to now. Hmm? Kengo is walking his own path, becoming strong for a girl like her. But what we're doing now, for whose sake is it? Hmm? She pondered deeply. It's fun for now, she answered easily. I couldn't help but smile. She's right about that. Then help us find some members. Bye bye. Hey. Whoa, she really ran away from us. In the end, we're the only ones left. What are we going to do about the member search? Let's see. I'll go ask around the muscle clip. Ah, I see. Here it comes an incomprehensible muscle request. Our team's becoming a feeble one with nothing but girls in it. What click are you going to check? Well, just my usual acquaintances. A shadow of dissatisfaction crossed his face, but cleared almost immediately. Well, fine. If you manage to find anyone slightly promising, bring them along. I'll do my best. Okay, dismiss. Best of luck to you. For some reason, he lay down in the empty space in the back of the classroom, and after that, he started slowly crawling towards the corridor. What's with that? Muscle click, anyway. I'm hoping he won't do something that'll make him stand out. I really didn't want to know the details, so I just went on ahead of him and walked out of the classroom. I was so used to this by now, anyway. All of his shenanigans. Now... Where should I look? If I stay here too long, the crawling Masato will catch up to me. There, I could already hear his strained breathing drawing closer to me. Should we look in the school, in the courtyard, or just play with Masato? It doesn't matter what our choice is. Uh, man, choices. <laughs> I'm bad at decisions. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Courtyard? Courtyard! Okay. Let's go. I headed off to the courtyard. Ikimasho! Um, I looked around. There was Nishizono-san, sitting under the Zal uh, Zalkava tree. It had never occurred to me so far, but ever since last year, she must have always been eating her lunch beneath that tree and reading her books here after school. I hadn't even noticed that she wasn't in the classroom for all that time, so there's no way I could have figured that she was always spending her time under the zalk of a tree here. In order not to repeat my mistake from yesterday, I was stepping very softly. However, small birds still became alert to my presence. They flew off before my shadow even reached her. Nishizono-san was looking at the flock of sparrows, pigeons, and other birds as they flapped their wings, soaring into the sky. I'm sorry. I was trying not to make any noise. She slowly turned her face to me. She was holding a crust of bread in her hand. There's nothing you could have done. They're wild birds. I, too, was just throwing them food on the ground. I see. I was sure you were feeding them by hand. Unfortunately, that was not possible. Then, here. She handed me a plastic bag with bread crust inside. Can I really have it? Wasn't that your intention in the first place? Yesterday, you really seemed to enjoy them. I'll help myself, then. I began munching on them in silence. 
It's sweet. It's like I always treat you, now I son, to poor food. It's like in the song, a frightful demonic wife appears. Appears. <laughs> so does that make me your subjugated husband? I don't recall becoming now I son's spouse. It's a problem if you go against facts like that. But you're the one who said it first, Nishizono san. You mustn't worry about the minor details. No, I think you should worry about them a little. The birds that had previously flown away began gathering around us once again. I threw a crust of bread at them. One of the pigeons tilted its head and looked in my direction. Just like I was stupid. It's like I was, it was asking whether it was okay to take it. The bread crusts were tasty. But I was getting thirsty. You have poor manners. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full. Didn't your parents ever teach you that? Here. She poured some tea from a bottle and handed it to me. I drank it to clear my throat and replied, I don't have- She suddenly looked apologetic. Forgive me. Even though I didn't know, it was still rude of me. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't mean it that way either. Because I have the little busters. Little busters? What are they? Um, allies of justice who punish evil. I became embarrassed once I said it. But at the same time, those words made me feel warm inside. Though lately we've only been playing baseball. She giggled a little. Then those allies of justice were the ones who hit me with the ball? Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. She was eating a sandwich with one hand while holding a book in the other. Isn't it poor manners to read a book while eating? The sandwich was invented 200 years ago in England by, uh, by the Earl of Sandwich, who hated taking breaks while playing poker. He created it so he could eat while holding cards in his other hand. That's why, in order to show my respect for him, I'm eating a sandwich while reading a book. That sounded like quite the sophisticated logic. Then, what if you were eating onigiri? Onigiri was invented by Baron Onigiri in the, e or in the Edo period, who hated taking breaks while playing flower cards, so it's okay. I don't think there was a title system in the Edo period. That was the only thing I said. Now, Aisan, would you like one? She produced a handmade sandwich from her lunchbox and presented it to me. Eh? I can't have you eating only bread crusts. Inside her lunchbox were sandwiches and a multicolored salad. There was still about half of them left. Besides, it looks like I made a bit too much. If you don't, if you don't help yourself to some, there will be leftovers. I don't want to get on the bad side of the leftover monster. If I can't, if I can't sleep tonight, it'll be your fault, now, Aisan. Well, I'll have one then. To be honest, I didn't feel content just eating bread crust, so I was grateful for the op or for the offer. I took a bite and realized it was a ham sandwich with lettuce and a, or, ah, what's lettuce? A combination of mayonnaise and mustard went well with it. Thanks for the treat. I ended up eating most of what she had left. It was delicious. It was nothing great, but thank you for your words. Is what I say in the name of modesty? Hey, Nishizono-san. I recalled what Kyosuke had told me. <laughs> Riki, I love you. No, no, no. I frantically shook my head. I mean about searching for members. I doubted she'd be good at sports, but she might still enjoy kicking up a fuss with us. Would you like to become an ally of justice, a member of the Little Busters? She raised her head at my words. It's a pretty embarrassing name. I couldn't deny that. Little Busters, you say? Yeah, Little Busters. We're playing baseball right now, though. We're still short on players. Right. Searching for members. We need your power. Come with us. Nishizono-san. I wanted to see her join the circle. If you don't mind, would you like to play baseball with us? With the allies of justice who hit me with the ball, you mean? That is, well, um, come on. Let bygones be bygones. Normally, that's not what the person at fault should be saying. Then she fell into thought for a moment. Baseball. Maybe. It might be interesting. Then we can go right now? However, the smile vanished from her face. I refuse.
why not? Wouldn't it be fun? It's fun for me, so I'm sure you'll find it fun, too. That is, when those words were spoken to me, I took the hand that was held out to me. But Nishizono-san, didn't you know that I'm always excused from gym class? That's how it is. She always avoids sunny places, always sticking to the shade. Sorry, I should have known. That's why, even though you invited me, I must still decline. I see. Why? Normally, I'd have given up by now, but this once, I still tried to persuade her. Nishizono-san, do you have a weak body? You're always carrying that parasol. I knew I was prying into private matters. But you never take the time off, or but you never take time off from school. Even so, I continue to hold out my hand. Last time, she didn't answer my question. You asked me about the book. I'll repeat what I said then. One day, ask me the question one more time. If I think it's okay to answer, then I will. However, she continued to speak in such a quiet voice, I wasn't sure that she'd really said anything at all. I don't think that time will ever come. She returned her eyes to the book. It was a worn-out book with a subdued green color. It looked like the same book from before. She turned her eyes back down to the book and resumed reading it in silence. It wasn't like she turned me down cold, but I didn't think she wanted me to pry any further. I'll get to practice then. If you like, come watch our practice sometime. I think everyone will be glad to see you. There was no reply, but I think she heard me. My attempt to find new members had ended in failure, but it was about time to meet up with everyone else. As that whole scene was nothing but me. <laughs> yeah. It was all you. <laughs> While walking along the hallway, I ran into someone I knew. Um, hey, I said, poking her forehead with my finger. What are you doing? Don't ask me. Just, it, oh. we don't know who it is yet. Guess who? Uh, Saikasa Har- uh, Yep, it is you. Saikasa okay. Haruka. Yep, correct. Really, they could have just said Saikasa. Yeah, uh, Ricky Kuhn. <laughs> on an afternoon walk? After school. Oh, after school. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I sighed. Saikasa-san, tell me why you're covering my- or covering your own eyes with your own hands? Isn't the the guess who game? I <laughs> she cocked her head. Why is she always answering questions with a question? You're supposed to cover someone else's eyes in that game. Oh. Don't make a face like <laughs> like you've lived <laughs> until now without even knowing that. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I cover my eyes, you can't tell who I am, right? You know, since I'm. So plain after all. That's absolutely totally not true. He. She folded her arms and, as if impressed, nodded. Oh, man. Ricky Coon, you're amazing. I'm not amazing at all. And actually, is she trying to say anyone could mistake those distinctive twin tails of hers? You're as amazing as other people I respect. People you respect? What people? Their names are Mr. George and Gordon Gordon Shunway. Yeah, it's supposed to be a play on Gordon Ramsay. I kind of figured. Yep. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yup, it's supposed to be a play on words of Gordon Ramsay. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> she was positively beaming. Those must have been people she really respected. So, who are they? Well, George and Gordon are amazing. No matter what you say, they're just amazing. She was nodding to her own words. She wasn't listening to me at all, as usual. I had no other choice but to re or return to the previous topic. Playing the Guess Who game alone? I was starting to wonder if no one was going to pass by already. No one was coming, you know. But then you passed by, Ricky Coon, so now I'm happy. She folded her arms behind her and began hopping. A dance of delight. 
No need to dance. Nobody asked you to. I didn't even ask for an explanation. No trace of rational reasoning. Thanks. It's not a compliment. <sighs> We're not getting anywhere like this. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Are you looking for someone? Well, you could say that. Hmm? Ah, oh, that's right. Saigus is on. Hmm? Wanna play baseball? And that's how he brought along another member. Ricky, remember what I told you? Eh, what's that? I don't remember either. What a moron! But I'm, but I'm sure I never told you to bring someone so use, use, eh, useless along. You, you shouldn't say that, Masato. Yeah, <laughs> useless. Saigasa, don't point at me. The unless, the, wow. <laughs> unless. The useless one is you. How how about we have her take the test like usual? What do you say, Kyosuke? Ricky. W what is it, Kyosuke? Does she have a special skill? Do you, Saigasa-san? I asked Saigasa-san, who was squatting down on the ground. W what are you doing? She was holding a glove in her hand, sniffing it. Smells like you. Passed. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did she pass, oh Kyosuke? My. You don't care who it is at all anymore. <laughs> don't be so serious, Rin. He's totally serious? Well, let's play catch for starters. Just to make sure you use the glove to catch the ball, okay? Where do you hit for ten points? That's not a strikeout. And you, Kyosuke, what are you drawing circles for? We don't need a target. That's not what it's about. You just throw and catch the ball normally. So we just have to play catch? Yes, that's it. Actually, isn't that exactly what I said in the first place? She really never listens to anyone. Hmm? She was twirling her arm. There. Like this? Y yeah, like that. She's got a really weak throw. But she's a girl after all. Fuck you, Riki. <laughs> I smiled oh, sympathetically after realizing that. The ball was so slow a fly could stop it. I knew you were useless. I spoke throwing yeah, I spoke throwing the ball back to her. Isn't it more like this? A girl like Rin would be pretty rare. Hmm. Um Saigasa. Hmm, ah yes. Um what is it? Natsumi Senpai. Natsume. Oh Natsume. Yeah. Senpai. I forgot the my part. Ah! Uh, looks like you're having trouble pitching. Yes, just a bit, though. Kyosuke gave it some thought and then picked up a few gloves lying on the ground. Here, Saigasa. Whoa, uh-oh. She caught the glove Kyosuke threw at her. Try it on, on your right hand. Got it. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> she smacked the glove with her left fist. It's a perfect fit. In other words, he picked up the glove Saigasasan had used earlier and spoke. This one's for right handed people. In other words, you wear it on your left hand. The glove you just put on is for lefties. Saigasa, you're left handed? Yep, that's it. I mean, yes, you're correct. Not to me. Senpai? <coughs> wow. Just saying. Slow. Bang. 
Uh, try throwing one more time. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> there it goes. Now another one. You return to your normal form all of a sudden, huh? So, there's gloves for lefties, too. I didn't know that. Of course there are. There's ton, or there's a ton of famous baseball players who are lefties. I can see you have potential. He nodded to himself. Da 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 da! Saigasa, <laughs> Haruku changed jobs from useless. For some reason, a fanfare played. Somehow, wasn't that a minute? Uh, nah. Magnificent job change? He sunk to his knees. Like a laugh. Hmm. I don't know. Come on, we ah! need it. Well, fine. Massachusetts. Kun. Uh, Coon. Coon. I'm not useless anymore. Saigus is on. You know what you have to do when the ball comes flying to you? Eh, you have to hit the person that threw it at you, right? Like this? The ball hit Masato in the crotch. <laughs> he doubled over. Am I wrong? Totally wrong! <laughs> we should start by having her memorize the rule. <laughs> Okay, so I guess uh, you'll play outfield defense. We'll continue after school. Aye, aye, sir. So I guess I joined the practice. At the same time, she joined the battle ranking system. The number of people <laughs> in the battle ranking system has increased, too. Okay, let's loosen the rules a bit. From now on, it's okay to fight someone two places above you. Huh? I'm finally set free. No, Masato. Don't say it like it's only it, only to your advantage. Alright, so that is all the time that we have for this episode, guys. So, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below, and my game is crashing for some reason. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop it, Scrams game! Scrams at the game. <laughs> Seriously, though. Scrams. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's a Good thing that we're out of time now anyways. But yeah, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, we have to, come on. Uh, give uh, the ball. Uh, no. <laughs> well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> well then, game. <laughs> Batting and defense practice start. No click. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. If you press the up cursor, yeah, we know. Click. Click. Uh oh. My goodness. Uh -oh. It's gonna lag. No. And you missed. Why are you going into the ball? Because we have to. <laughs> That's way into the ball. I can't. Well, it lagged! <laughs> oh, he caught it! We're not gonna be able to hit it from this angle, though. You yeah. can try! I <laughs> know, uh, that was not happening. That was way too late. <laughs> <laughs> that was still not happening. Either way, if. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why I never signed up. Ah! <laughs> Why's she doing it? I never signed up for baseball. I know, right? Oh, there you go. Yay! Alright, now there watch for it. And you were too early. <laughs> I don't care. You should care. Ah. The more combos you get, the better. I'm twying. Oh, hi, Saigasa. Hi, I know. Oh, oh, poor kitty! 
Poor <laughs> kitty! <laughs> we made it cry. <laughs> no, I don't want to make a kitty cry. Oop! How is that? <laughs> Ow! Yeah, she hit us right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, it hit, it hit. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>